close invitational. Yeah. Sam coming off close invitational. Just one, how you feeling? Um, feeling good. Um, I bet that will change when the um, endorphins wear off, but right now I'm feeling great. Coming into today, your goal wasn't quite to win. Talk, talk, talk me through that. What was your goal? Yeah. Um, I was looking at the results, or rather the entries, and I was seeing the names of people, and I noticed one of them who they were seated, like the fastest returning person, got um, only one place above uh, one of the people on my team last year. And this this guy, his name was Kai. He was my role model um, kind of person. And he was also, I have been uh, comparing with his times, like in Woodbridge, I beat his PR by a little. So I was like, if the first place returner guy is so close to the guy that I'm trying to like be on par with, then it's, poss it's a possibility to win. But I kind of just ran out there to stick with him. And if I fell back, I'd fall back. But yeah. Coming through the second mile, you were behind a couple guys right there. When, when did you pass him? When did you make the move when you decided to go? So um, it was when we got in about the one mile left point, I realized that I was feeling pretty good. So I was I decided to keep on doing it. The hill was kind of rough. Like I, I might have passed one person, but it was it, I was not passing people there. And then I really started taking it away. So we do this thing on our team where we do what's called a free bird mile. So there's the song Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. And basically there's this part where it picks up and it goes high. And it goes really um, like to a fast part. And we'll do that on like um, uh, base days as a surge. So at the 800 point, we have people yell free bird and then it kind of like kicks it in mentally. So the 800 point, they did that and I was like, oh yeah. And then I just kind of had to kick off. And um, I believe one or two people stuck with me for a little bit. But then I started kind of dropping them. And I was I was honestly kind of surprised. I thought, I, I don't know, you know. I, I'm, I didn't expect not to, like, I didn't expect to win. But I'm, I'm glad that I did, obviously. And I, I like, looking back at it now, it was a win, definitely a good race, but I feel like I did run it well, so. Coming to the finish shoot, looking back, seeing how far ahead you were, what was up your mind right there? I was like, oh my god, I'm actually going to win. Because I kept on thinking that there was this one guy who was like, I could hear them calling his name, like, behind me, and I was like, he's getting closer. And I thought he might, he might, like, outkick. But then when I saw that, I'm like, I'm going to, if I, as long as I don't, like, die in this last little bit, I could win this. And, like, that's when it really dawned on me that I was not just, I was not just running to, to, you know, try to win. I was running with the possibility of actually winning. So, How yeah. prepared do you feel for the state meet now? And then? Um, I feel very good. Uh, like this course, I feel like my first race in the, the first year I came here was not that, like I, I got mixed up with the course, but I feel like I've got a lot of experience on it. And also I have more experience racing nearest to the front. Obviously in state that will change because there'll be more people, so I won't be as close to the front. But I think it's a, like, it's a possibility, and now um, I think I'm learning how to run not just... I used to be pulled by the pack, now I'm learning how to run on my own, which I think is very valuable in all sorts of scenarios, especially state.